Right, let's ex let's explain, right? First bit of the stream, we're going to explain why the A1S is still busted, right? So this guy's got... Uh... Actually, let's stop him fucking moving. All right, I'll explain to you why the A1S is busted. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. You know, take these other way. But you, you get the point. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. You get the point, right? Three shots. A4. One, two, three. Four. One, two, three. Four. That is the reason the A1S is still kind of probably better. Uh, honestly, from an objective standpoint. Um... It's the time to kill being lower is, like, so important. Uh, especially, like, the higher up levels of play you go. Just for comparison, we'll do the whole thing. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. The fact that the you can either have a gun that's going to give you the same time to kill as the person you're fighting, or you're going to have a gun that requires another bullet to the chest. Yeah, you can understand why pro players are probably still going to stick to this. I think it's going to be a... At least a little bit more based on preference and a little bit more based on like positions and roles that you play because if you're we've already seen in pro games there was a, a rops moment i can't even remember exactly what map it was on but recently rops had a, a moment where he lost uh around because of the small clip on the a1s the small magazine i definitely think it is more preferential now but probably the a1s is still stronger Overall, it's still got enough going for it. The silence is great. Spamming through smokes, it's obviously still very good because you can't see traces. All of these things. Mate, the A1S still pretty strong, mate. Actually, let's have a look at the Galil for comparison. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So the time to kill on the Galil is the same as the A4. Like, that's kind of that's whack, man. That's kind of whack. 